Hello everyone, Jeremy here, and today I wanted to show you some tips in getting around in Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn for the PlayStation 4. Because one of the first things that I found to be frustrating with this game when I first started playing it on the PlayStation 3 was the map system. I found it to be pretty confusing, finding my way around to my objectives that weren't in my immediate vicinity and just navigating the whole thing. The shortcuts, the button presses, it was all just kind of what's going on. So I figured if I felt that way, chances are there's going to be someone else who feels the exact same way and if you are one of those people I hope that this video is going to help you out so that you can start moving around the world more freely and enjoying it more. So here are some tips. If you look on the screen on the right hand side I have a whole lot of quests going on and if I wanted to go to complete any of those quests, I look down at the little mini map at the bottom right hand corner of the screen and I can see roughly where they are. I can complete one objective if I just sort of go down here and then there's another one that's off in this direction. But that's a very general direction. It just kind of shows me where to go, not necessarily where it is in the world. So how do you do that? One of the biggest things that I found to be extremely helpful is to just press square. Because when you press square, it brings up another mini map in the upper right hand corner, upper left hand corner rather, of the screen. And you see you have so much more real estate. It gives you a lot more detail about where you are in the world and where things are in relation to where you are in the world. And if you find that your view of this map is too zoomed in or zoomed out too far, you can adjust it just by holding L1 and moving up on the right analog stick or moving down on the right analog stick. And that'll let you zoom in and out. And just by rotating the right analog stick, you can just sort of navigate around the map like this. So zooming in and zooming out is very, very helpful. Because let's say, for example, you needed to get to, let's just say, right where this white cursor cursor is. Let's say you needed to get there and you're moving around and you're like, I know the objective is here, but I don't see it. What's going on? Well, if you zoom in, there are times where you can uncover little passageways such as this that will help you find exactly where you need to go. So if you found yourself just sort of running around this side and running around that side, if you zoom in on the map, you can get a really close view of all the little nooks and crannies that you may be able to squeeze yourself into. So always make sure that you zoom in if you are if you're in a situation where you think you are in the right place, but something just isn't clicking right. Another thing that I found to be very, very helpful is centering your position on the map. I'll give you an example. You see, here is my cursor right here, the little blue cursor, that's me. So let's just say, for example, the map was like this, and I just started running. Now, as I'm running, you can see that my cursor is leaving the map. And now I have no idea where I am. I'm just moving around and there's nothing to tell me where I am in relation to everything else on a grander scale. But if you center your position on the map, it will scroll with you. So you can do that by pressing square, bringing back up the map again, and clicking X on center map on player location. When you do that, the map will warp to wherever you are. And every time you move, take a look at that map. It's scrolling with me. So I'm always gonna know exactly where I am. And if I just wanted to, you know, zoom out, you know, I can do that as well. Center the location on me, I can just zoom out, or if I just wanted to zoom in, and get a more, get a closer view, the map will always move with me. So it will help you to find out exactly where it is you are in the world. Okay, so let's say now you have a quest and the quest is not in your immediate vicinity. For example, I'm in the Corinthus Central Highlands. 
But let's say I wanted to do a quest that wasn't in the core of the Central Highlands. I wanted to take on a quest that was in Gridania, for example, like Exeunt Circumstances that I have here on the screen. The way that you find out exactly where it is you have to go, just press the Options button on the PlayStation uh, 4 DualShock 4 controller, go to Journal, and when you go to Journal, you'll see all the quests that you accepted. And in addition to that, you also see the locations of all of those quests. So I have four of these quests located in the Corintha Central Highlands, and then I have one in Gridania. Gridania is not a small place. You know, Gridania is pretty big. So how do you know exactly where in Gridania you need to look? When you click on Exeunt Circumstances, for example, you see this big description of what the quest is. And I know that in MMOs, we tend not to read a lot of the text because, you know, let's just face it, a lot of the things are kind of useless information that really does not move us along. But when it comes to finding out exactly where you need to go in a quest, I found that just by at least skimming over the description, it usually tells you exactly where you need to go. But if you want a more visual look to that, just click on the quest, click on map, and then you'll get this broad overview of what is basically the entire world. But it's not very detailed because you're looking at it from a very, very far out place. But what you can do is when you zoom in and you find the icon to your quest and you move the white cursor over that icon, you can see, okay, there's exeunt circumstances. So what you do here is now you click X over that symbol and you're brought into a closer view of where you need to go. You need to go to Old Gridania. So you can zoom out and see where you are in relation to everything else. You see like, okay, here's Old Gridania, here's New Gridania, here's the East, Shard, East Shroud, North Shroud, okay. So then you just zoom in a little bit more, click on it again, and now you see exactly where in Old Gridania you need to go. Zoom in on that icon, and you can see that it's right by Yellow Serpent Gate. So if you visited Gridania before, and you sort of put in your head landmarks, places that you are familiar with, places where you know you know how to get there and how to navigate from there, for example, you may say, oh, I know the Whistling Miller. I know where that is. Or I know where, where the Leather Workers Guild is. So you can just go there, and you can easily find your way back over to wherever the quest is, right here, Exit Circumstances. So I think that it's a very good thing to at least have one location inside the major cities that you are familiar with and you know how to get there, and then just sort of use that as a way to plan your path outwards. But just by knowing where exactly you need to go on the map, is very, very, very helpful. So you won't have to just keep clicking around and just trying to figure out where everything is. This is a fast way for you to do that. So one more thing um, before I wrap this up is you see these symbols on the map that represent settlement and this right here that represents the Aetherite and the Chocobo Keep, all these little symbols right here to let you know exactly like these, these locations that you may want to visit when you're actually in the world. If for any reason you see that you know, these symbols are not there, maybe it might be because you accidentally turned them off. So when you go to the map and you can go down to show slash hide map text and icons, when you click on that, it takes away different aspects of the map. So you can have it so that there are no symbols on the map and there is no text on the map, which is not something that I would recommend because you won't know where anything is. But if you click it again, it'll bring up the symbols on the map that represent the locations and the text. And, oops, let's go back. And then when you click that one more time, it gets rid of the text and just shows the icons. I typically just like to have everything on. I like to have everything on because it just makes everything so much easier to find. 
So, yeah, those are just some basic tips to help you get around. And, you know, once you're just sort of going around and doing your own thing, it will become second nature to just bring up the map and say, where do I need to go? Where do I need to go? Okay, this is where I need to go. I'm pretty much there. Or if I wanted to go in the other direction, zoom out and I say, oh, okay, that's where I need to go. And then I can just turn myself around and just make my way up there towards that symbol. And as long as you keep the map centered on you, you won't have to worry about the cursor leaving you behind. So, yeah, those are just some helpful tips. I hope that uh, they will help you. But if you have some tips for navigating around and reading the map in Final Fantasy XIV, please feel free to leave a comment because the comment could help someone and then they can tell someone and that'll help them. And then more people will play and more people will be able to enjoy the game more because they know where they are going. So... That's all from me for now. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Jeremy, and I will talk to you later.